I'm just going to show you a few of the main features in Gwailgram now. So I'm going to spawn this topic of what it is. Right in the Ganeha is Tavati, as this is ID Gwailgram Anish. So when you first go to Gwailgram.ie or www.gwailgram.ie, you'll see this screen here. And what you want to do is once you've set up an account, is go to Logoilishdach or uh, the sign in page. Or if you haven't set up an account yet, just head on over to Bwintriela Ser in Ashke um, first. So that's where, where you want to go. So just in English, you're main destination if you already have an account is your login page but if you don't have an account yet just go to try for free first and you register in a couple of quick steps and just before i log in there myself i just want to recap on a couple of the main features of gwailgram so in pre rudnog in ibrian she er gachle as ibrian she er rivri glune er hablady always their own uh, poker so it works on tablets on laptops and on uh, smartphones as well of course um, and the other key feature of Gwailgram is that it's optimized for use in schools and organizations so it has a few extra features compared to our other products and um, so not only does it work in the cloud to make automatic uh, identification suggestions of mistakes and spelling and grammar in Irish. Um, not only does it work on all devices that have a web browser, so desktops, laptops, tablets, uh, smartphones, but it also works uh, in a centralized way for schools and organizations in that you, it has features like uh, single sign-on as it's called and also centralized user management and a couple of other things that make it easy to implement in a school or organization or university uh, environment. So that is a recap of the main features of uh, Gwailgram. So once you do sign in, and this is the, the sign-in screen that uh, lets you do that, you are presented with a very simple screen and we've worked very hard to keep this very clean and very simple and this is the main Gwailgram screen in your account and you can switch between Berla August Gwailgram Marsha August I'm really getting to now current to the hex is so you put your text that you want to check into this text box here and you can do that either uh, by typing it into the box or even better copy and pasting it from a word document or from an email or from any other application you have because remember you're using Gwailgram in your web browser so you can copy from word into it or from another tab for example with gmail into it as well and what you can do is just type into this box so for example i just typed um, just to save uh, a little bit of effort i typed this earlier on thought and also support so this is a sentence with two deliberate errors in it and i'm just going to hit check now to show you Gwailgram in operation so it's working in the background there on the servers to identify mistakes in that text and the first one it's come up with is that there's a t missing from Ta on Tassel support, it should be Ta on Tassel support, it's suggesting there, Ta on Tassel support. So what you can do if you're on the free trial is you can make a mental note of that and just hit skip to go to the next one, or you can go um, straight in and hit edit to actually make the change in the text box. But if you're on one of the paid uh, plans, even better, you can just hit change and it'll be made automatically for you. So you'll see there that the T has been added in automatically. And now it's jumped onto the next mistake where it's saying that there's a shavu missing, there's an initial missing and suggestion is a fork and we'll just hit change again to make that happen. So there are just a couple of simple examples of Grailgram in action, uh, showing how you can step through the mistakes that are in any text you have and get Grailgram's uh, identification of the mistakes and its suggestions and even make those corrections if you're on one of the paid subscriptions but even if you're not on a paid subscription if you're on one of the free plans you can just make the change yourself in the box or make a mental note uh, of it and make the change back in word where you were typing your document
A good way to get a sense of the real power of Guelgram is to put some text from a long document or a long email that you've typed before into the uh, text box here for checking. But if you don't have any text to hand, then I have this snippet of text here that I like to use as a as kind of demo text, really. And um, I'll just run Guelgram on this text just to show you the range of mistakes and grammar rules that Guelgram uh, identifies. This is only scratching the surface, but for example, you'll see here that it's identified that a H is missing. And because I'm demoing this using one of the paid plans, I can just hit uh, change to have that change made. But if you're on one of the free plans, uh, you can just uh, click on skip to, to jump on ahead and use edit to make the change uh, manually yourself uh, if, if you want. So I'll just hit change here to make that change and you'll see that it's put the H in and jumped on immediately to the next one where it's saying that there's a, a unnecessary uh here there's an extra H uh, there's no need for it um so we'll hit change again to fix that it's identified here that the should have been an N in here called new soid for should be right so let's click change there and make that and here's a slightly more complicated one where we're saying Winter on Tira is what we've written in this demo text, but it should, of course, be Winter n Tira. So we can make that change as well. And then one of my personal favorites, um, Cotton Down, Galair, Fui Suiveness, needs a H, uh, needs a Shavu, needs a Lenition. So it should be Cotton Down, Galair, Fui Suiveness. And just before I hit change, I just want to point out the Add to Dictionary feature here, which is, again, something very powerful. So in this case, um, you know, we don't want to add this word to the dictionary um, because we agree with the suggestion. But sometimes, you know, in your organization or your school or in your own writing, there might be a particular word that you use a lot that mightn't be in standardized Irish. Um, so you can just add it to your own personal dictionary here. That dictionary lives in your account, uh, in your Grailgram account in the cloud, and you can add to it um, in order to, you know, make sure that those words uh, don't keep annoying if they're caught every time. But for now, I'm just going to hit change here just to wrap this up. And you'll see here that in this text now, all those changes that have been identified, all those mistakes um, have been identified and automatically corrected. Uh, with the suggestions uh, made by Guelgram. There's another couple of features that aren't immediately obvious in Guelgram because we've tried to keep the interface as clean as possible. And the one I just want to mention now is that you can actually manage all the features of your account up here. So you see there's kind of a, a person icon here and there's a down arrow and you'll see options uh, when you click in here. Now I'm logged in as an administrator, so I get quite a few options, but the option that you'll see and the most important one is to go to your manage page so this is what your manage page will look like and it shows over here where you can add your name if you'd like but you can also pick your dialect so you can say if you are using the Ulster dialect um, because there's slight variations in the rules if that's the case you can change your password you can add your gmail your google sign in um, and then if you have added words to your dictionary you can edit that list here as well. Over here on the right hand side, it tells you what kind of uh, subscription you have, uh, when your word count, uh, when your account will be renewing. Um, also, if you want, you can upgrade your personal, personal or schools or an organizational subscription from this screen. It tells you how many accounts you're managing. So for most people, they'll just be managing one. But if you're in a school environment or an organization, you might be managing multiple accounts. And it also shows you how many words you have left uh, for checking uh, this month and when that will be reset uh, for you. So if you are in a school environment and you are the admin or you're in an organization, you're the admin, you'll see extra options here uh, for managing the other users uh, in your uh, account centrally. There's also a downloads option from that down menu I mentioned. So you see here we have the manage and the downloads and the log off options that uh, you'll normally see. And uh, the downloads enables you to download the Word add-in for Windows. That will put Guelgram right inside Word for Windows for you. And also for Mac users, there's a, a, a copy of Grail Spell there that will put the Grail Spell spelling checker right inside Word for you. So that's it. Hope that's a useful uh, overview of Guelgram. Slow.